All right, guys. I was just doing some uh, final double and triple checks on this break over here. Okay, so what happened was we had a glitch on Facebook where 10 of the teams were like uh, were listed twice. And when you have a duplicate listing on eBay, they don't show in search results. So 10 of the teams didn't sell on eBay. The other 21, including the all-base paper, did. Uh, so I found what those 10 teams were. And instead of just letting them go to waste or keeping them, we sold them in the Facebook group. And I listed them here. So the Twins went to Ty McGahee, Yankees to Alex Vanilli, the Oakland A's to Sal. Phillies went to Connor. He actually let me know about the issue, so we gave him the Phillies free of charge. Uh, the Pirates went to Lyle. Giants went to Carlos Perry. The Cardinals went to John. Tampa went to Knapp. Uh, Texas went to Carlos. And Toronto went to Steve Hosier. So, kind of a... Uh, little bit of a glitch that took place and we got it sorted out and we'll get going on this break um, it didn't impact the other 20 teams they got purchased and paid for as normal and uh, and that's that so crisis averted and uh, we appreciate our loyal Folks here at Roto Breaks, uh, Connor in this case, for helping us avert a problem. Just getting a little bit set up here. Been doing a lot of breaks today. Um, if you guys are interested, we have a random that I just listed, number 15E, that you guys could buy into if you want for another Super Jumbo case. I'll get you a link to that. I just listed it. We've filled like four of them already. Um, I'll post a link to it in here. If you guys want to get in on it, you just claim how many spots you want. It's 150 a spot, two spots for 290, and you get a random team. Uh, with that said, I'll get this. Uh, that's for a super jumbo random number 15 FBM link above just listed it so you can get in on that but for now we will do the ebay break number 23e super jumbo thank you guys for hopping in much appreciated and uh good luck obviously six boxes here of super jumbos Let's just get them all out Top loaders ready. Need to open a top loader factory here. Grabbing some supplies for the break. Box to put all the chrome as we go here. Alright, fellas. Get this rolling with box one. Let me know if you guys are here. 
Thank you for joining from eBay. Uh, we do a lot of Bowman breaks. We do a recap at the end, and we post the video on YouTube as well. So you'll see our jumbo from earlier tonight already on YouTube. We do that right after the break. So you guys have some options to rewatch as well. I'm looking at YouTube right now to see if that one's up. It is. Um, yeah. So here we go. Without further ado, good luck, fellas. We've been hitting a lot of nice stuff out of these cases. I think we got a nice batch from top. You know, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. These draft cases that we've gotten have been phenomenal. So I expect some nice cards to hatch. check messages periodically so if I go quiet for you know 30 seconds a minute that's probably why um, you know people have questions how to find the break and other things as I know you guys are coming in from eBay and this is your first time here and need to get oriented With that said, here we go. Starting with box one. Good luck to all in the break. I just did a jumbo, so got to get back in the groove of doing these super jumbos. Each one kind of has its own uh, cadence to it that I'm learning rapidly as we go here. Anyone here? I haven't seen one... One thing in the chat. So someone say hello so I know you guys are alive. Charles Tyler requesting Dalton rushing. What's that, for the Dodgers? I think I'm starting to see the names and know these guys a little bit. Hey, Alex, how's it going, man? We got a Cole Young going to the Mariners. This is a top prospect. We got a blue paper color match, it could be argued. This is number to 150. That's our first hit, so we're off to a decent start here. Cole Young with a blue paper going out to Seattle. Nice one. All right, Ty. We got you, man. Do our best to get you cards you're after. Here at Roto Breaks, we do a lot of Bowman products, so if this is something you're interested in, stick around and uh, hang out here. This guy's an auto? I didn't even know that. So the auto spot is on the top in Super Jumbo, the way that I sort them, and I do it on purpose so that I handle the auto less. I'm not trying to handle these auto cards very much. And they're in the same spot every time, so I know where they are. I reveal them first thing. This is a Connor Prelip to the Twins. Purple paper. We sleeve and top load anything numbered. We try to get some of the better players sleeved up.
just answering some questions. Okay, we got a redemption. This might be your Brooks Lee, pal. This might be it. Someone was asking me, have you ever seen a redemption in Super Jumbo? The answer, I think, was no until now. So, we've answered two questions. The Loch Ness Monster does exist. There are redemptions in Super Jumbo. And that is good information for all to have for future breaks. Both here and beyond. So... There are redemptions in Super Jumbo. I know there were some conspiracy theories that there weren't, but there are. And this is proof. And let's see if we can make Ty happy. We start with the redemption. Oh, it's a Reggie Crawford going out to the Giants. Is this Steve Hozier with this Reggie Crawford? Class of 2022 autograph going out to the Giants. Steve, is this you? You got a Reggie Crawford redemption. That's our first auto. Next up, we got the Phillies on the board with Gabriel Rinconis. This will go out to Connor with the free spot for alerting me to the issue we had on eBay. So congrats to Connor. Oh, Carlos picked up the Giants. My bad. Carlos, that's you, man. Congrats. Nice redemption there. Next up, we have the Yankees on the board with Anthony Hall. There's more stuff on these cards, just like lint, than usual. Um, coming out of the pack that way. What are you going to do? Anthony Hall, 262 of 499. And then we have the Reds on the board with a Zach Maxwell. Base auto. And then we have a gold wave going out to the Astros. Trey Dombrowski, the third, 36 of 50. Very nice. Fourth round pick for the Astros, you never know. He's a pitcher, but uh, maybe he'll be a good one. Neto base. What I do is I pull out the good players and sleeve them up. Um, I don't sleeve everything. It would be insane to do that. Uh, and I, you know, someone asked me actually on eBay if I could sleeve every single base paper card. We don't even ship the base paper. Uh, it goes to one spot. This is a Chase DeLauder to 250. Going out to the Guardians. So everything on the table here, I end up sleeving. Just so you guys know, when I come across a player I think is worth sleeving, that's what we do. Brooks Lee. Got a Denzel Guzman purple refractor to 250 for the Angels. Sleeve me alone, Jonathan. I get some messages also that people on YouTube can't understand the banter because um, they're not seeing the comments from Facebook, and I hear that, but that's why you gotta come onto Facebook and, you know, and enjoy the banter over here. So I tell them, join, join the Facebook group. We got Elijah Green with an insert, we got a Willie Vasquez with a sparkle, Jordan Beck refractor, Beavers refractor. Cutter Coffee Refractor. So some nice refractors there. That's what I tell them. I'm not one touching anything, Steve. It's top loaders or nothing. The Lauda. Brooks Lee. Drew Gilbert Refractor. I'm learning who the good guys are. Jackson Holiday's good. Melendez good. We got a gold coming up here, Tamar Johnson. 
We got a gold refractor. Khalil Watson to the Marlins. 21 of 50. Nice. I use zero one touches today, Jonathan. But you're also breaking things like triple threads and five star. Different ball game than the Bowmans. Steve gets one. That's good. Steve needs them. He keeps skunking in these breaks. Other people are hitting all these monster cards. Steve is definitely due. I will say that. Elijah Green base. I don't know what a finger gun parallel is. Nate Furman to 199. Dylan Lesko Refractor. That'll do it for box one of six. It's deceiving, though, because these boxes are gigantic. They call them super jumbos for a reason, because there's no other way to describe them other than being super jumbo. I, I don't know. I heard Khalil Watson was, like, out of baseball. Um, he was regarded as a really top prospect couple drafts ago and then yeah he might have he might have done something like that these are the rumors I didn't and I really looked into the story I just saw his prices plummeting and it was something that, that might do it but still I don't know if you guys know this or not but back in the day uh, Delman Young was the biggest prospect I'd say this is about like 0203 something like that and this guy he lit like it's on camera. He he got called out on a on a pitch, and he he go, goes off into the distance and then throws the bat at the umpire and hits him. And he still ended up playing in the big leagues. So Delman, if Delman Young could throw a baseball bat, I feel like you could do like fake hand signals with a gun. It's not obviously not what you want to be doing. It's not a not an ideal. Not an ideal move as an aspiring young baseball player, but I think throwing a bat, a real bat, is worse than, yeah, I think it's worse than showing, you know, pow-pow type of stuff, you know, like, you could, that could be fun, pow-pow, but I don't know, I don't know what the context was. A threatening context? It's all about context here, Roto, I, I need more info. I've done it to you. I've, I've said, hey, pow, pow, you know? Christian Robinson of the Diamondbacks. His Bowman Chrome's worth a lot. I guess he punched a cop. These are things not to do. What not to do when you're trying to be a public eye type of star? Oh, yeah, I forgot we put that in the Roto Box. We had an Aaron Hernandez Prism Auto. I should have named it Prison Auto, am I right? Robinson can't get back into America. Is that is that true? That would be something else. Nothing Americans love more than baseball and a... Yeah, Panini Prism. Nothing Americans like more than a comeback story and a baseball player. So, if anyone's got a shot, it's Christian Robinson. Good old Panini Prison. I wonder who else would be in there. Ray Carruth. Isn't that guy from Ohio State? Who is that guy? Is Kyle here? Who is the guy from Ohio State who ended up in prison? Maurice Claret? Yeah, we could do the Panini prison. Prison parallels. It doesn't have to be a whole set. It could be like a multi-year parallel track where you have the greatest hits of prison. Yep, good old Maurice Claret. I'm not the biggest college sports guy, but I know a thing or two. We got a Bryce Hubbard, the Hubbard telescope over here to 199 for the Reds. Yeah, 
It was a PSA 9, I think. Pretty good card. First year prism of Aaron Hernandez. Bryce Hubbard to 199 for the Reds. I'm in the presence of greatness here. Some of the, the biggest breakers in the business just hanging out casually in this eBay break. I have to toe the line here. Can't make too racy of jokes to eBay stuff. And whatever else the other line is. I don't know. We got Trevor Martin. Cousin of Ricky Martin. For the Tampa Bay Rays. This is a purple paper. Plaques will go Burris. That's the worst one. The Giants were on their way to back-to-back -back Super Bowls. That was a great team. And this guy goes to jail for shooting himself. At least, if you're going to go out, shoot somebody. You know? Like, don't just shoot yourself. It's terrible. That's terrible. Terrible way to go out. To shoot, your, to shoot oneself is not a way to go. It's just not. It's unbecoming. We got a Kevin Alcantara, former Yankee great Kevin Alcantara, 35 of 150. Going out to the Cubs. Going out to the Cubs, former Yankee great Kevin Alcantara. Right in the pants. Imagine, do, imagine shooting yourself with an actual gun and then going to jail because of that. It's just it's the truest definition of... Adding injury to insult. Terrible. They should have let him off the hook. Plus the Giants would have gone to the Super Bowl. It was lose-lose. Jay Allen now. They were. They were great. Roto, that's why I say you should never own a firearm. But I don't want to go into that. Jay Allen to 499. Yeah, that Giant team was great. I mean, they won the Super Bowl the year before. I think that was the 08 Giants. They won in 07 against Tom Brady. Came back the next year and were winning like crazy. And then you go, shoot yourself. What a way. What a way to go. All right. So in Super Jumbo, I just pulled the top card off, and that's an auto without fail. It's Jack Brannigan. This one going out to the Pirates of Pittsburgh. Possibly the next Otani. As you can see, he's a third baseman slash pitcher. That's what he is. Possibly the next Otani. Possibly the next Brendan McKay. So you have one of the two. Next up, we got Kenya Huggins. Yes, you can. Cincinnati Reds. Pitcher, Kenya Huggins. This is Cincinnati Reds. Kenya Huggins. And then we got a true blue of Tanner Schobel going out to the Twins. And this was sold in our Facebook group. He's from Panama City, Florida, just a stone's throw away from me. Second round pick, Tanner Schobel with the true blue. Oh my goodness. I didn't know any of these things. I thought Marvin Harrison was an upstanding guy. I know his son is going to be drafted next year. Possibly by my New York football giants, who play tomorrow at 1, by the way. Next up, we got the Brew Crew with Jacob Mizierowski. Jacob Mizierowski. Nice little autograph. Bold ink. Some of these base autos are a little thicker than others, I'm noticing. And then we've got a Walter Ford. This guy looks like a player if the picture's an indication of anything. Oh my goodness. Now, now I'm getting question on my comments. Panama City is 12 hours away. Okay. We're in southeast Florida. I get it. Maybe I should look at a map. What are you going to do? Let me entertain. Go back to sleep, Lynn. Jackson Holiday, Ivan Melendez. Termar Johnson. You can't throw a th stone that far either. Maybe if I threw it from outer space, I could. Eric Brown with a refractor. Gavin Cross base. 
And now we hit a really nice Eric Brown. This is a green sparkly 98 of 99, almost eBay 1 of 1 of Eric Brown Jr. That is, that's a good call, Steve. OJ is a high-level Panini prison. I mean, you're 20 minutes late on the prison conversation, but that would be a pretty high-end one. You could do a dual-patch auto OJ glove. Game use gloves, yes. We got a Jace Jung refractor, too. That'll get sleeved up for you. We continue. We already pulled the auto, so we're just looking for good color, good base. Things I could sleeve for you. Because I'm looking to sleeve things. We got a Ryan Ritter with a sparkle. You don't get this banter on YouTube. The reason you're not seeing the comments, these comments are on Facebook. So join the Facebook group. You'll be glad you did. Parada base. Jung base. Brett Farr first prison. Maybe it's a pre-release. What do they call those things in the hobby? First edition? Something like that. We got a Zoback. From Step Brothers. Good night, Zoback. 52 of 150 going out to the Royals. 425 at PM tomorrow. What is that? The Giants game? What's at 425 PM? You were on mute watching a movie. Who let Roto in here? I don't know. I guess he's taking a little break from breaking. It's well earned. I'm starting to understand Roto's plight. It's a lot of work. I have a new appreciation for Roto. It'll last me a couple days, then I'll learn to not appreciate him again. But as of today, I have an appreciation for Roto. Cowboys. Connor, I liked you until now, but I don't care about the Cowboys. I feel like they were doing better with uh, Cooper Rush. Dak Prescott's out there lobbing interceptions to the Jaguars. I think he's still doing it as we speak. Brooks Lee with a refractor. It's got some print lines, but I'll still sleeve it up out of the kindness of my heart. Now we sleeve these cards. This is the process. This is the way. Frauds. See, Sal knows the Cowboys are going to Cowboy. Micah Parsons is very good, though. I'll give you that. And the Giants should have taken him instead of trading the pick and then taking Kadarius Toney, who ended up being a fraud himself. Yeah, Trevor Lawrence is on another level. Uh, I stashed away some really nice ones. Have some, uh, some high-end Trevor Lawrences that I'm happy I stashed because he's looking like the guy that everyone thought he was. He was the biggest prospect pedigree-wise, since probably Andrew Luck. And he struggled a little out of the gate, but that's okay. I mean, look at, like, Peyton Manning. The guy threw a ton of interceptions his first year, ended up being arguably the second-best quarterback of our time. I think game for game... Oh, no. I don't want to talk about Daniel Jones right now. He's not to blame. That's the thing with Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones is not to blame. He's a saint. He might be a saint next year, too, but he doesn't deserve any kind of backlash. Trevor Lawrence and Peyton Manning at the same time. It's very early for that. I didn't, I didn't compare Trevor Lawrence to Peyton Manning. What I said was, as a rookie... Oh, here we go. Now we're talking Davis Webb. As a rookie, you're allowed to struggle a little bit. I don't think Trevor Lawrence, after one questionable year, is done. Like some people do. I do think Zach Wilson's probably done at this point. He's going down. I think he's part of the Josh Rosen school of quarterbacks. I 
I'm a big Peyton Manning guy. I mean, I PC the Sheriff. I have some really nice Peyton Manning stuff. So don't get me wrong. I, I also said he's probably the second best quarterback of our generation, period. I think you can't take it away from Tom Brady, just the longevity. But pound for pound, if it's Brady versus Peyton Manning, you know, the results are the results. But he, uh, I don't know. I go... I, it's a coin flip for me. I mean, those guys were both unbelievable. I never eat Papa John's. Roto eats Papa John's every night. With pepperoni. I don't know if Purdy is good. Sometimes it's the system, too. Anyone you throw in there in San Francisco seems to do alright. Except for Trey Lance. Who, by the way, was like the hottest prospect in football at the National. Anything of Trevor Lance, uh, not Trevor Lance, Trey Lance, sold for every for, for as much as you wanted. And now he's pretty much gone. Or not, I don't know. He'll probably be back next year, but I don't know. I don't know what the deal with Trey Lance is. We got a Jonathan Mejia going out to the Cardinals. This is to 150, a blue paper parallel. Trevor Lance. <laughs> Trey Lance last <laughs> three plays. Listen, it's three plays more than any of us would last. I'll say that. But I say that to say this. I don't know what I wanted to say. I, I just don't know. I'm, I think Trevor Lawrence is pretty good. I bought his cards. I like him. I think he has the pedigree. I'm not comparing him to Peyton Manning. Trade Lance. That's a good nickname. I like the pun, Steve. Trevor Martin. Cousin of Ricky Martin. To 199. Going out to the Rays. You could last four plays. Tell everyone the story, Roto, of how you got robbed of all state linebacker. But you were... I don't know what the story was. But you could type it out. Something about you being all district... And the other guy who you won all district over was all state. So by extension, you should have been all state and got robbed. Did I put a chrome in here? I don't think I did. You got robbed. You got Robbie Snellinged. You got Rob Snellinged. Which goes out to the Padres. This is the 499. It is a something blue I think sky blue to 499 first Bowman all right Michael let's hear it's story time with brew this might be a, a segment that we go to from time to time John Henderson right who's that <laughs> John Henderson ended mr. Brews football and career This is box number three, by the way, guys. We got a Walter Ford. Walt Ford for the Seattle Mariners. A pitcher, a tall pitcher, number to 250. He played for UT and the Jags. This probably explains why you hate Trevor Lawrence so much. Anyone associated with the Jaguars is associated with putting you out in your prime. Cutting you down before you could make the big bucks in the NFL. So I understand now. Caught me slipping. Damn near killed me. Wow. Sorry to hear that, pal. Hopefully you've recouped nicely. Running my route. Said, not today, Satan. It took my soul. Wow. That's, that's football for you. The NFL, not for long. Talk to any running back. They'll tell you. I don't know how these guys play anything. We're going to look at the autos here. Our first one goes out to the Phillies. This is Alex McFarlane. 26 of 199. With a Aqua Ray Wave. Fourth round pick. Next up, we have the Mets. With DeAndre Smith. Good luck playing at shortstop. They signed Carlos Correa. 
And they have Lindor. So DeAndre Smith, likely trade candidate. DeAndre Smith going to the Mets. Next up, we got Alex Freeland going to the Doyers. The Los Angeles Doyers hitting Alex Freeland. Shortstop prospect. Third round pick for the Doyers. We then have a blue wave auto of Peyton Pallet. Peyton Pallet. Not Peyton Manning. 60 of 150, a second round pick of the White Sox. And then we have the Nastier Mule. There is no nastier mule than this. 93 of 250. You need a job done right, call the nastier mule. Fourth round pick out of Patterson, New Jersey. I think I remember that now. I grew up a couple towns over from Patterson. That is a tough town. Home of Victor Cruz. <laughs> Yeah, I can imagine if you're bleeding out of your ear, it's tough to go back and play that game again. This is some riveting conversation here in the chats tonight. Riveting. We go on. We truck on. We got a William Bergala of vintage 2022 Bowman Chrome. This is to 199 Aqua Ray Wave. I grew up in a town called Fairlawn, New Jersey, which is a town over from Patterson, but very different than Patterson. William Bergala to 199. Zach Neto with a refractor. Never played another snap of football. Do you even have catches with your children? Or is that is that off limits too? I feel you though. That's that's traumatic, man. I don't want to make fun of it. And I see why you don't like Trevor Lawrence. I, I understand. Zach Neto base. We got a Roberto Campos. There you go. People uh people uh, give Jersey a lot of uh a lot of I don't know what the right word is. Gotta keep it PG, but it's not too bad. I like New Jersey. I live in Florida now, but New Jersey's a great state. I'm ready for to get roasted in the comments, though. Roberto Campos with a sparkle. Probably would have been footage, the quality of uh, Bigfoot back in the day of you getting jacked up by Johnny Henderson. Tamar Johnson. Gabe, uh, Gavin Cross. Almost called him Gabe Cross. It's not his name. We have a gold refractor coming up. Gold refractor Trey Sweeney going out to the Yankees. Shortstop. A lot of competition at shortstop for the Yankees. Peraza, Volpe, and others. He was a first round pick in 2021, 20th overall. So a quality hit for a quality team. Team of tradition, the New York Yankees, who named their 16th captain this past week, Aaron Judge. A true captain of a true team. We continue. You stop, Jonathan. Don't you talk about my Gabe. Jackson Holiday with the Bowman and Victors. Good old Invictors. Prestigious card right there. Hit 263 this year. What are, what are we talking about? This guy almost won the Triple Crown. Elijah Green, base. Roto Breaks is the number one Aaron Judge fan page for Breakers in the world. So don't come on here talking about batting 263. He got paid. He feels a responsibility. Did you watch his pre press conference? He talked about unfinished business and winning multiple championships. He pulled a LeBron. And people love him, so they're not even roasting him. He said, not one, 
Not two, but multiple championships. So when we trade for Shohei Otani next week, I want to hear this blasphemy coming out of you. It was the number one fundraising site to re-sign Aaron Judge. We raised $359 million to re-sign him. He can't... He can't win any championships alone. But he could be part of a championship team. He's an excellent player. And he's actually been pretty good in the playoffs. I've seen him do some very clutch things. I remember that... Uh, Wild card game, the one game playoff against Oakland. He he killed it. We just signed Carlos Rodon, and our whole bullpen is getting healthy. We did it. When the Yankees re-signed Aaron Judge, when that news came out that he signed with the Giants, me and Roto knew it was fake news. See that Sal knows Rodon is their number three, but number one in our hearts. Actually, Judge is number one in our hearts. Rodon is number three. Tommy Canely's back. Tommy Canely's a dog. Everyone knows that. I've got filthy stuff when he's healthy. Chad Green probably coming back. Clay Holmes. I like Tommy Canely a lot. Maybe we should make this a Tommy Canely fan club. I bet you we could get him on Roto Break. Get him to be a guest breaker. Tommy Canely. The Yankees also signed Wilmer Defoe today for, for depth. So... 2015 Bowman great Wilmer Defoe back on the Nationals back then. They're signing that whole 2015 Bowman class. Carlos Rodon was the cover athlete. I would love to have Tommy Canley on Roto Breaks. Guy's got a lot of personality. James Caprillion, I don't know, he, he might come back. If he wins a Cy Young or two, we'll get him back. I'll tell you who's not coming back, probably Sonny Gray. He couldn't hack it in New York. I think Rodon will. He actually wanted to be a Yankee. He told Scott Boris, get me to the Yankees. And that's the kind of guy we want. I saw today that there were a couple of deals in baseball. Michael Conforto who I happen to like, signed with the uh, Giants. So that'll make Steve Hozier happy. I think Conforto's a good player. And I saw a trade involving a prospect. It was uh, Toronto trading Gabriel Moreno, top, top catching prospect. I forgot who it was traded for, but I remember hearing that and thinking that was interesting. What was that trade? Anyone know who it was traded for? It was something interesting. I think it was the Blue Jays. Oh, it's slipping my mind. Now you have favorite Yankees, Michael? Should be Catfish Hunter. I feel like I'm being catfished right now. That should be your favorite Yankee. Dalton Varsho. Huh. Former Diamondback great, Dalton Varsho. He was a favorite of some breakers I remember back in the day. Nate Furman. Isn't this OJ's lawyer? Furman. Green paper to the Guardians. The Guardians of Cleveland. See that bar show? Everyone's everyone's jumping on me. I, I couldn't remember. I was at UPS and I heard it. I heard Gabriel Moreno traded for something, blah, 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 blah. I remember hearing bar show now that you say it, but it really slipped my mind. That's how little I care about Arizona baseball, Roto. That's how insignificant it is. Furman was the detective. See, I got... I'm a little hazy on a lot of details, but I, I know, like, basically that things are related. We got Dylan Lesko, 473 or 499. Top pitcher in this in this product, arguably, going out to the Padres. I've heard Moreno's good. I don't know. I've never seen him play. I know his stuff sells pretty well. 
It's a fun time at Chase Field. I've been there. They have like a shrine to the 2,000 Diamondbacks. Uh, Randy Johnson, Kurt Schilling. It was really nice to see. It was like informative about like the Yankees team at that time. I kind of took what I wanted out of it. I remember us beating up on Byun Hyun Kim and some of those guys. But uh, that was one of the championships that got away. I went to Chase Field. The, the be real beauty of it as a baseball fan is that you could... I sat front row behind the dugout and had, like, valet parking to my and, like, a private entrance to my seat for $70. I was like, if I went to Yankee Stadium and paid 70 bucks, we got another redemption, by the way. Could this be the Brooks Lee spot? Time will tell. And earlier in the break, I was getting asked, have you ever seen a redemption in Super Jumbo? People were telling me it's like Bigfoot. Loch Ness Monster. Never been seen. We've had two redemptions now in Super Jumbo, so I want to debunk that myth. I want to debunk that myth. That's what I want to do. Just so you guys know. Not for nothing. Ty McGahee, I know you have the twins. Let's hit you that Brooks Lee. Let me put these base papers away first. My entire office is now, is now base paper. It's... If I could turn this camera around, you guys would laugh at the amount of base paper that's being piled up. I'm going to save the redemption for last to build some suspense. We start with Sterling Thompson... A solid player, Sterling Thompson, 98 of 150, a first-round pick. I didn't know that. From Ocala, Florida, not quite a stone's throw away, but closer than Panama City. 31st overall pick, 29th prospect in the MLB draft. He played for the Gators, University of Florida. Nice. This is actually a good card. Good card. Sterling Thompson. Wouldn't mind the bolt, wouldn't mind the tension's palpable. We could feel it in the air. Jack Brannigan, third baseman slash pitcher, possibly the next Otani, possibly the next Brendan McKay. What happened to him? I remember that year, 2017 Bowman draft. Everyone was all over Brendan McKay. Where is he? He can't hit or pitch. We'll leave it at that. Next up, we got Tres Gonzalez. I think this means three Gonzalez's in Spanish. And this one goes out to the Pirates of Pittsburgh. No habla. Me neither. Justin Boyd with a aqua lava. I gotta just call it aqua. The lava trips me up. 83 of 199. This one going out to the Cincinnati Reds. Yankee fans do dislike the Rays. I respect them for what they do, but don't like them either. And here's our redemption. We're going to use this Jacob Melton upside down to reveal it. You are due to receive A. Class of 2022, womp womp, so it's not going to be a first bowman of Tanner Schobel. It still goes to the Twins, though. So, Ty, you get a card. This is Tanner Schobel. Going out to the Twins. So, not quite your Brooks Lee tie, but still a Minnesota Twin. A Minnesotan. Cold weather. Minnesota. I went to Minnesota once. It was in the summer, but they have Brooks Lee to the Twins. They have... um. Tunnels, not tunnels, but like overhead walkways that you could walk through the whole city. I've never seen that. It's so darn cold that they have to have tunnels and passageways that you don't even have to set foot outside. So you could somehow leave your apartment and walk through this tunnel system to get where you need to go. Joe Lampy to the Guardians with the purple. Sounds brutal, man. I mean, I don't know what Minnesota's like right now. I think the Giants are playing in Minnesota tomorrow. I think it's an away game. I'm not sure. Zach Neto to the Angels. But, man. Negative how many degrees. You have to be really dedicated to live in there if you do. 
It was nice in the summer, though. Michael Hernandez going out. Big fork. In Minnesota, it was negative 34 installing a rooftop unit. And that's why you should stick to braking, Brew. There's no need for that. That's just a form of torture. Michael Hernandez to 150 going out to the Orioles. Kevin Parada with a refractor. Gabriel Hughes with a refractor. I'll sleeve up the cards I'm putting out here. Never seen or felt anything like it. I went to the uh, Giants-Green Bay game, the playoff game back in 016. And I remember driving from Chicago to Green Bay. Everything was frozen. Anything that could be breathing steam was breathing steam. It was absurd. I don't, and then when I got to the stadium, here's a DeLouder base. When I got to the stadium, these fans, they, they asked me if I had any styrofoam. I said, why would I want styrofoam? Here's an Eric Brown refractor, Mikey Romero refractor, and a Gavin Cross. And a Jackson Holiday and a Melendez, so every card's going here. They asked me if I had any styrofoam. I said, what do I need styrofoam for? And uh, they told me, if you don't put it under your feet, your feet will literally freeze. So, I was sitting in Green Bay, had the styrofoam under my feet. Someone had given it to me, and uh, I think they saved my foot. I would have gone, uh, got a case of Blackfoot or Gangrene. Here's a Justin Campbell and Chase DeLato going to the Guardians, number to 250. Got a Jace Jung refractor. Crazy, crazy, crazy. It's no joke, the cold. It's like the water. You got, you got to respect it. You got to respect the water. You got to respect the cold. Let me tell you something. I'm using hands for emphasis. Not for nothing. Here's an Elijah Green base. Here's a Brooks Lee insert and a Jace Jung sparkle. So this probably has a little bit of value, this sparkle card of Jace Jung. Type of card. If it's gradable, you grade it. Centering looks a little off top to bottom for me. But otherwise, a nice addition for the Detroit's. Listen, it's supposed to be about 50 here on Christmas, and people are concerned. People are going to start busting out their hats and gloves. I'm not. I'm a native Northeaster, but people are about to go crazy here. The concern that people have in Florida when it gets cold is that the uh, iguanas, they freeze in the trees and they fall out. Um, they don't die though, so they just fall out of the trees and they fall there and they're frozen and when it warms up They come back to life if the impact didn't kill them. It's crazy Dominic Keegan with a green refractor spark sparkle going out to the Rays um, Yeah, so the iguanas are a real concern and if you walk under trees you're taking your life in your hands because if an iguana falls on your head you're you're in bad shape those things are those things are big, and they're heavy, and they're nasty. Wow. It's a nor'easter up there, huh? And that's why I left. Spent most of my life up in Jersey and New York. And I love it, but it's warmer down here. You really start to benefit from it around this time of year. But back to the iguanas. Yeah, they fall out of trees. They freeze over. Um, there was a push a few years back that, you know, they were trying to get restaurants to start serving iguanas on menus because it's an invasive spe species. 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 And uh, they were calling it the chicken of the trees. You know, trying to make it sound appetizing. Chicken of the trees. And they're not fooling me. I'm not eating that stuff. Not fooling me. I am not eating any iguanas. Hard pass. Um, I haven't checked the thread. I have to see if everyone pays. If everyone pays 
and I could get a random going very quick. I might break it tonight. Um, but if I have to sit there grinding out payments from everyone, then maybe not. All right, we got, I need to take a sip of water. Why are people going to get sick? People getting sick from eating iguanas? They say it tastes like chicken. Fizzy water? No, I was drinking just standard water. What am I going to say you're drinking fizzy water for? Oh, from the drastic temperature change. Yeah, you got all the all the bugs flying around. You got the convid, whatever else is out there. Iguanas are gonna get sick. That's for sure. I don't even know what fizzy water is. That's how long I've been out of New York. What is this? In the last few years? Been to New York like twice in the past few years. I went for Eli Manning bobblehead day, and then some other time. And my brother's some some sort of event. The only things that'll bring me back to New York: Eli Manning bobblehead day. That got me back. That was a good day. The Giants lost. They played, uh, I think, the Falcons. But let me see if I have my Eli bobblehead. I'll show you proof. Can't find it. Can't find it. He is Tom Brady's true father. He beat him twice. People in Philly will have you believe that Nick Foles is also his father, but Eli Manning takes the crown. Talk about a decent buy in football. I buy a lot of Eli Manning high-end rookies. I have some really, really nice ones. And, uh... I think he's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer, and his stuff will pop a little bit. And they're not expensive. Um, new collectors won't know this, but back in the day, SP Authentic was the true RPA. National Treasures didn't exist, so... Yeah, uh, the high-end rookies of Eli, you want to buy the SP Authentic true RPA. They were numbered to 299 There's also a parallel to 25 I have a few of those. And then the Contenders ones are really good. There was actually a preview ticket numbered to uh, 25. And those are really nice. And then he has a base um, Contenders rookie as well. And some he signed in black ink, some he signed in blue ink. The, the blue ink ones uh, were rare. Yeah, I think he has a first ballot Hall of Famer. He won two Super Bowls. His numbers were good. Some of his years he had... I think he threw for like 40 touchdowns a couple years there. I'm biased. I'm a Giants fan, but he's got a lot of pedigree, and I do believe he's a first ballot. HOF. We got Edinson Paulino to 150 for the Bostons. This is a blue paper of Edinson Paulino. Um, also, his Hall of Fame class just isn't very good. I don't think there's a lot of good players eligible, so that impacts it. Like, if he was coming out and it's Tom Brady, my dad was a Giants fan. Is a Giants fan. My dad is a Giants fan. Something you inherit. I'll pass it on to my kids. You pass it down from generation to generation. So my dad is a Giants fan, I'm a Giants fan, and Lord willing, my son will be a Giants fan. And I'm happy that that's the case. Happy I'm not a Jets fan. It's tough. It's tough. That stuff seeps into your psyche, man. When you're, when you're just constantly exposed to that level of, of just gut-wrenching losing... It just gets into your 
We sure did. Lawrence Taylor. He's always at card shows, by the way. Little known fact, if you want to meet Lawrence Taylor, go to some card shows in Long Island. He's always there signing autographs. Austin Hendrick to the Reds. It's a purple paper to 250. Lawrence Taylor and Doc Gooden are always signing autographs. Probably because they have something in common and need some money. But, I mean, those are goats. And it's interesting to meet them. We've also had some really good DNs over time. I mean, Michael Strahan's unbelievable. I know he's kind of like a celebrity now, but as a player, he was unreal. Roderick Arias going to the Yankees. This is 90 of 250. Um, this is some vintage 2022 Bowman Chrome prospects making an appearance here. Wasn't so long ago that we were pulling him in 2022 Bowman Chrome. Now here he is in Bowman Draft. Born in 04. I really like that 2022 Bowman Chrome product. I think time will tell, but I think it'll end up being... That's right. So, Connor, you're a true Cowboys fan, and I could I could appreciate that. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of Cowboy fans are just, uh, you know, it was in the 90s, and they, they just, they like the winners. So, I say this to people when people tell me about being a Yankee fan and such. I'm a Knicks fan, okay? Let that sink in. We got Sterling Thompson, another one of him. This is a base auto. And he seems like a pretty legit prospect. Sterling Thompson. So, Rockies are having a nice break. Next up, we got Ignacio Alvarez. Good old Ignacio. Going out to ATL. Next up, we have a really nice car. This is a good hit, guys. Ran out of sleeves here. But, Cade Horton is a top 10 pick in the draft. Listen, we're talking about those old school Knicks. That was the 90s, man. We're, we're in like the 023s already here. You got Cade Horton going out to the Cubs. This card's very well centered. Number 18 of 50. Corners are sharp. This is a very gradable and solid card here. Cade Horton. First round, 7th overall. With a true gold. Who had the Cubs? The Cubs were an eBay team. So, unless Steve bought the Cubs, I don't know. Which auto are we up to? This one? We got a Tyler Schweitzer. Tyler Schweitzer to the White Sox. So, north side and south side hitting two in a row. White Sox. And then we have a Hunter Patterson. Patterson. It's not Patterson. There's no R there. I thought there was an R this whole time. You just say it like I would say Patterson. Hunter Patterson. Going out to the Royals. 375 or $4.99. Patterson. There you go, Marmaz. Cade. Cade. That's a great card. That's a true gold. This is the truest form of gold you'll ever find. Bowman Chrome. Gold. True gold. Not those mini diamonds. True gold. One full box left after this. I did list random number 15 FBM on Facebook if you guys want to buy into the next one. Roto, I am not sleeving empty packs. Leave me alone. Doing what I can. I'm sleeving as many cards as possible. Here's a Brooks Lee to sleeve. The Lauda. Juan Bin Cho. Former 2022 Bowman Chrome great. Juan Bin Cho. Different picture this time. 150 of 199 going out to the Cardinals of St. Louis. Juan Bin Cho. Gabriel Hughes, Refractor. We continue going through piles of cars. Just piles and piles of cars. The eight-year-old version of myself would be in heaven right now. 
If I could open two packs, I'd be happy. Now I'm opening a million packs. Super Jumbo Million Packs. Brooks Lee insert. Just ripping Super Jumbo after Super Jumbo. Without a care. Talking sports. Without anyone talking back. Except on chats. Imagine holding a conversation with yourself. Holiday. Melendez. Such is the life. Joe Lampy with a purple refractor going out to the Guardians. We have one box left, one final box to hit the auto of your dreams. Joe Lampy here. We're sleeving and top loadering as we go. Oh, I have one more pile. Must have missed that. Right. You gotta start answering your own questions. I didn't think about that. But now that I do, I don't like it. Eric Brown, Refractor. Zach Neto, Base. We got a Gold Refractor coming up. Chase DeLauda. Who is the Gold? Oh, it's an insert. It's a Blue Jay. It's Brandon Barrera. First round pick. Draft Parallel. Going out to the Blue Jays. One on one Phillies player request. I don't know. This is Brandon Barrera. 50 of 50. An eBay one of one. 50 of 50. Chase Jung with a refractor. And now we're down to one box and can get to the sleevings. Sleevings greetings. From sunny Florida. We're a warm weather breaking outfit here at Roto Breaks. If Roto's still here. Our employees refuse to break in cold weather. It's in the contract. My next eBay break. I was supposed to have one Sunday, but the listing got messed up. I might do a one day break uh, tomorrow. But, uh, not sure. Might want to take a day off or two. Relax with the family. Enjoy some holiday spirit. And I'm allowed to enjoy some holiday spirit, bro. Despite whatever it is you're thinking. <laughs> we got one box left. That's what we got. It's one giant box. It's a super jumbo. It's the biggest box Tops makes. <laughs> you, you didn't say a word, but you said all the words. You said all the words you needed to say, Michael. I can read between all the lines, Mr. Brew. We continue on. I know. You don't have to say many more words. We continue. With five more gigantic double packs of Jumbo Fun. Fun for your entire family. Gather around the fireplace and listen to case breaks. That's what I would do as a family. Get the Yule Log. I think that's what it's called. And watch breaks. And buy into breaks. Yeah. I'm sure it will. Listen, if he needs a box of cards for his birthday, I got the hookup. A case got the hookup. Here we go. Last box. Good luck, Clayton Kershaw. Good luck to all involved. 
That's what I would say. Good luck. We got a Judd Fabian to $4.99 for the Orioles of Baltimore. Everyone knows the O's. A good friend once told me. You were doing gingerbread houses and you fell asleep within five minutes. The innocence of youth. Nothing can beat that. The innocence of youth. What a beautiful thing. We're robbed of it. Learning the harsh realities of skunking and Bowman Chrome. I like this guy we're going to hit auto of. Drew Gilbert for the Astros. I think he's an underrated prospect, and I would buy the Astros in these breaks, honestly. I've hit a lot of Drew Gilbert. This is real talk here. I've hit a lot of Drew Gilbert. I think he's a good prospect, and the Astros go cheap. That's a formula for actually winning in case breaks. So do yourself a favor. Buy the Astros. I'm not an Astros fan, but I think he's a good prospect. So buy him. Harry Ford, arguable color team match. Seattle Mariners, 74 of 99. Green paper, something we're all after in life. Green paper. I know some players. I know the game. Listen. Listen to what I say. The Astros are just a good value, and I'm hitting a lot of this guy, Drew Gilbert. And he's a good prospect. So I think it's the right value combination. I don't keep teams, but if I did, I'd be keeping the Astros. Roberto Campos going out to the Tigers of Detroit. I doubt any Tigers actually live in Detroit. 182 of 250. They live in more exotic places than Detroit. Wonder how they got that name. And the Lions, too. Do you think there's Lions or Tigers in Detroit, honestly? I would say no. Doesn't feel like the kind of place they would be in. Just doesn't. Doesn't make sense. That said, we're getting close to the end here. We have a Mason win for the St. Louis Cardinals. So what's with that? Detroit just naming their team after animals that don't exist there. The Lions and the Tigers. Just fierce animals. They just want to be fierce. They're manufacturing being fierce. They live in West Bloomfield. Do they really, though? Is it like at a zoo, or what are we talking about here? We got lions and tigers in a zoo. They live in Disneyland, too. You know what I mean? You know, not for nothing. The players. Ah, I'm talking about the actual animals here, Aaron. We're not talking about the players. All right, let's start on the right. We're starting with a Blue Jays hit, Tucker Toman. Tucker Toman going out to the Blue Jays of Toronto. The players don't live in Detroit for sure. Well, we knew that. Detroit, not the greatest place to live, from what I've heard. Drew Gilbert now, it's a color auto. So even better, 30 of 250 possible jersey number going out to the Astros. We'd be the deer. That's right. So we have Drew Gilbert. He's five foot nine. Let's let's not let's not discriminate. Lefty. First round pick, 28th overall. First team All American, SEC tournament MVP, led the University of Tennessee. Something you should know about, Brew, and bashed three homers. There you go. He's a leader, former USA baseball member, 
First draft by the Twins. Son of two college athletes. Comes from good stock. They're cheap. The Astros are going cheap, and I'm hitting a lot of this guy. I'm hitting color, too. I hit a multiple blues, now a purple. I think they're a good buy. Next up, we got the Pirates on the board with Jack Brannigan. Again, I think this is our third one of this guy. He's a third base slash pitcher. Third round pick. Maybe he'll be an offensive player. Maybe he'll be a pitcher. We don't know. We can only, we can only guess and surmise from a baseball card. Tres Gonzalez. Going out to... He's a guy who flipped off the other team while rounding first after hitting a homer and got ejected from the NCAA tournament. That's what I'm talking about. He's got some juice. You know, that's something you remember. Tres Gonzalez to 499. And then we got, ooh, very nice. Padres on the board with a nice hit to finish off the autos. Dylan Lesko, arguably the best pitcher in this draft. 99 of 150. Aaron Judge jersey number. 99 of 150. Number 13 prospect, born in 03, so he's a youngin. 15th overall pick. 2021 Gatorade National Player of the Year, went 11 and 0 with a .35 ERA as a junior. 112 strikeouts in 60 innings. So, this is possibly a very high upside card going out to the Padres, Dylan Lesko, true blue refractor. We'll now go through the rest of these cards. Zach Neto. Cole Young. Crawford Barrera. Yeah, a lot of blues. Decent case. Had some good cards in here. My cases have been loaded, though. I've hit a lot of really, really good ones. A lot of them. We got a Carson Palmquist. This is a nice color match. Rockies. Purple Refractor. Purple Refractor Rockies are just very nice. I want to get my hands on a couple of uh, Yankeel Fernandez Purple Refractor autos from Chrome. It's to 250. It's a nice looking card. I will do a recap of the autos at the end. Let's see if we could pull something else out of these stacks over here, though. Brooks Lee. Base. We got a blue refractor coming up. It's Edinson Paulino of the Boston Red Sox with a purple. I mean blue, saying purple. Listen, you put the purple refractor team match in the HGA purple custom slab, and now you're cooking. Get that to match with your purple Air Force Ones, purple hoodie, and now we're cooking. That's what I'm talking about. Brooks Lee with a refractor here, too. I guess that Termar Johnson Invictus I'll sleeve up. Elijah Green. Simon Wan with a green sparkly to 99 for the Mets. And we got one little pile left. There's no catching off guard. HGA. I like the videos they put out, their promotional videos. Those were classics. They were putting cards in like Tupperware in the office. It was just, it was just funny, but I never hated on it. I just never graded with them. Jace Jung with the base. Oscar Diet Colas. This looks like a variation. I think those are case hits. 
And that's that. I'll do a recap after I sleeve these last cards up. And then I'll sign off. We do have another break I might do tonight. I'm debating. I got to see if all the payments are in on Facebook here. But uh, I might come back and do another one. Just had an orange auto and three blues Coke back from PSA of Colas. So you're using the word Coke and Colas. Is the Coke a typo or is that really a thing? Coke and Colas in the same sentence. It's like peanut butter and jelly. I knew what you meant, Brew. I was just messing with you. And that's the break. Now we're going to do a recap so future generations can see what we hit in a case of Super Jumbo. Not bad. We got Tres Gonzalez with a refractor. Jack Brannigan with a refractor. Drew Gilbert, purple refractor. Tucker Toman, base. Hunter Pattison, refractor. Schweitzer, base. Alvarez, base. Sterling Thompson, base. Schobel, class 2022. Justin Boyd to 199. Tres Gonzalez base. Brannigan refra purple refractor. Nazir Mule purple refractor. Peyton Pallet blue wave. Alex Freeland base. DeAndre Smith refractor. Alex McFarlane aqua ray wave. Walter Ford refractor. Mizzy Urowski base. Kenya Huggins. Yes, he can. Jack Brannigan base. Zach Maxwell base. Anthony Hall refractor. Gabriel Rincones base. Class of 2022, Reggie Crawford, Redemption. Then we got a Dylan Lesko Blue to 150. We got a True Gold of Cade Horton to 50 for the Cubs. Tanner Schobel to 150, True Blue to the Twins. We got a Trey Dombrowski, the third 36 of 50 of the Astros. Cole Young with a Blue Paper and a Sterlin Thompson True Blue to the Rockies. That's 98 of 150. So that'll do it for this break. Get this packed up. I'm going to try to ship on Monday after the holiday. Thank you guys for joining, and happy holidays to you and yours. See you later.